what's happening world my name is kenny and i've got some issues to bring up to you yes i know we all have issues but a lot of my issues have to deal with well you okay hold on i didn't mean every one of you but a mass majority of you i do have an issue with and that's one of the reasons why i'm here it's because i feel like i need to say something and this first video is dedicated to you people who drive and are complete assholes on the road, this is driving etiquette. To sum it up pretty much, these are the kind of things that you do on the road not to piss other people off. First one, use your turning signal. It's not that hard. You can use it while your hand is still on the steering wheel. It's called your indicator. To let other people know around you that you'd wish to turn into that lane and you can use one hand to activate it and it's simple to use here you go this is this is how it works okay so this is your steering wheel this is your indicator if you like to merge into the right lift the stick up if you'd like to merge to the left press your stick down just that easy no harm done and you can still do it with your cell phone in your hand you've successfully activated your turning signal good job now you want to get into the next lane. Don't automatically think just because your turning signal is on, the person that's coming down that lane is gonna stop. No. It's a turning signal, not a stop sign. So people don't automatically have to stop for you to get in front of them. You are not royalty. You are nothing special, no matter how much your parents have told you that. Wait for a space. And there may be some people that are nice enough to slow down and let you in front of them while there's a lot of traffic going on. This is what pisses me off the most. After I've let you merge into the lane in front of me to get to your destination before I get to mine by a few seconds, a little gesture goes a long way. Just a simple hand up like that. Not that hard and it's not gonna kill you. It actually might make the person behind you feel a little bit better. They might be having a shitty day and they thought it'd be nice to let you in front of them and they get no thank you. You can actually do it with your cell phone in your hand. And it's not just the younger generation either. I think a lot of older people have forgotten how to do this as well, which is really sad because it just kind of shows that manners is on a downfall. But that's a topic for another video. You don't know what could snap a person to ram their car into yours. So be courteous, be nice, say thank you, and the world may be at peace. I'm not saying that's gonna be the only solution, but it's a step. You've successfully activated your turning signal, you've merged into the next lane, and you gave thanks to the guy behind you. Why do you feel the need to slow down? If you were getting out of your lane because it was going too slow to get in front of me to match the speed of that lane, why did you merge into my lane? I just don't understand why do you feel the need to do this, especially on the highway, when the last lane is usually the passing lane, where cars are going a little bit over the speed limit to pass the car in front of them. Why do you feel the need to get in that lane and do the speed limit and piss everyone off behind you? It's not right. Don't do it. You're just causing mayhem for everyone. You may be one of the reasons why people have road rage. Are you a nervous driver? Well, I can solve your issue right now. There's a thing out there called public transit. Invest in a bus card and take the bus. Stay off the road. Honestly. We want to get to our destination faster. That's why we drive. And if you feel like taking your sweet ass time, take the bus. It's just that simple. And there's another sign that we could all live in peace. But a lot of the times I can understand why people slow down. No, wait, there is an explanation. A lot of times when someone is in front of me and they feel the need to slow down when it's a green light at an intersection. Yeah. Do you want to know why? If you were really that important of a person that you had to text the person back right away, I think you might actually have a chauffeur by now. So you could be busy texting and emailing away because you're that important of a person that that email cannot wait. It could be the end of the world. You know, your life depends on that email. Can't wait till I get to my destination. Have to email now. Have to text message now. Really? I'll give you a solution. And it's the same thing I told the people before who get nervous driving. 
Invest in a bus pass. You have a chauffeur to get you to your destination and you can email and text all you want while riding the bus and no one's gonna bother you because you're not distracted in driving. You're focused on one little thing. So, invest in a bus pass. If it is important, they will call. They won't text message because if they're trying to get a hold of you quicker, conversation, you're, you have a cell phone. It is used to make calls. Oh, and just a tip for you people who tend to talk on the cell phone like this while driving, this is not hands-free. You will still get a ticket for it. But what annoys me the most about talking like this is the reception that you get with your speaker phone because it sounds like shit. So if you're willing to get the ticket and you're gonna talk on your cell phone without a Bluetooth device or a hands-free device in your car, might as well put the damn phone to your ear and just go for it but that's only some of the pet peeves i have about driving but if you have any pet peeves of your own please in the comments below tell me a story give me an example of something that you hate people do while driving and next time i talk about driving i'll probably use one of your comments this is my very first vlog so just to test out the waters and see if this might change anything subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video and share it with your friends especially those who need a kick in the ass and <laughs> they need to learn some driving etiquette or maybe relearn some driving etiquette. My name is Kenny, I'll rock on and have a good one. I wanna give a shout out to Not Good Kid here on YouTube for inspiring me to actually get a dash cam because his channel is full of these videos. Check it out, link's right there, link will be in the description and Hopefully, I'll catch you next time. All claims apply to Ethel branded gasoline compared to gasoline. Minimum government detergent standards where applicable. An ounce of one carat diamonds worth just $6,000 a piece would be $850,500. So one ounce? And now you know why most diamonds are not cut for maximum sparkle. Diamonds are so